The Sonicly Code Reporter 9 software used by independent code reporters can be set up for remote and in-person code reporting in various different ways. Audio is the most important carrier of asset in remote reporting, yet it has only a transitory value to the official written or electronic transcript being the product of uh, code reporting. Setting up a code reporting workplace can be challenging. In this video, I will demonstrate how SonicClear Code Reporter 9 software can be configured for remote code reporting. When you wish to have a separate laptop for handling exhibits, separate from your reporting laptop, and you do not have an external microphone with a built-in mixer. So here, as you can see, I am using two laptops. One is the reporter laptop. Here it is, on which I am, uh, on which the Sonic Clear software is running, and you can see the USB license key is plugged in. And the other laptop is the exhibit laptop, which has two purposes in this setting. One is to handle the exhibits during the deposition, and second, most importantly, to carry the sound via Zoom of the live deposition into the Sonic Clear software installed on this reporter laptop. The reporter laptop has a black Audio Technica headphone and no external microphone connected to. The exhibit laptop has a white earpiece headphone and a USB microphone without a built in mixer. The black Audio Technica headphone is placed over my white earpiece of headset coming from the exhibit laptop. So now let's see how to configure the audio devices in this method. First, let's check the Zoom audio setting on the reporter laptop to make sure it is correct. In Zoom, check your audio settings. Go to the microphone. It's set to the mixer, which is the recording device for SonicLear. Go to Settings, System, Sound. The sound output or speaker is set to be the speaker or the laptop speaker and it is muted. The sound input or the microphone is set to be microphone array, which is the laptop's own internal microphone. This configuration is what we have set up earlier in the control panel, sound, to be the default sound devices. And here you can see that the two settings correspond. This is the configuration on the laptop. Testing the audio, testing the audio, testing the audio, testing the audio. And now let's see how to configure the sound in the SonicClear recorder software. Go to Edit, Preferences, Hardware, and this configuration, the recording device or the microphone is the stereo mix, not the laptop's internal microphone, which was used to be the default. And the speaker is set to be the headphone. Uncheck the removable device because we do not have an external audio speaker connected at this time and the monitoring sound device for playback purposes to hear the recorded material back is the headphone. You need to set up the SonicLear transcriber for readback or playback purposes if you wish to read back or to hear the sound back at the slower speed at the standard. So let's go to Edit, Preferences, Hardware, and in this configuration you do not have a recording device portion on the left side does it does not have a microphone. What we need to set up is the sound for readback or playback. And the speaker is set to be the headphone, uncheck the removable device, and the monitoring sound device for playback purposes to hear the recorded material is the headphone. So let's go back to the recorder window and at this time we should create a new file for this deposition. Testing the audio, testing the audio. Testing the audio once again, testing. And either you just let SonicLear generate a file by the date, or you type in the name of your deposition. You may use a naming convention for all your work, for example, the witness name dash date dash file type or witness name dash date dash depo dash com, uh, whichever your naming convention, convention is. And then go to the transcriber window and open the same file in the transcriber window you just created in the recorder to have all your annotations simultaneously for readback, repeatback, or playback purposes. So now we have set up the reporter laptop so far. 
Let's go to the Exhibit laptop and set it up for a zoom deposition. The microphone is set to the USB and the speaker is the headphone. So let's test how it works. Yes, I can hear it. And this is the microphone test on USB. And this is the microphone test on USB. And it's working. So this is good. The headphone is set to be the speaker. The microphone should be set to the USB audio device. And the, and the speaker is the headphone. In the setting, the headphone is the speaker and the microphone USB is the input audio. This means that the audio setup on your Exhibit laptop is correctly configured to feed the sound into the Sonicleo software used in the reporter laptop here in via Zoom and over the internet. First, let's check the Zoom audio setting on the reporter laptop to make sure it is correct. You go to the microphone, it's set to be the mixer in Zoom, which is the recording device for Sonicleo. And you can find the same setting in Sonicleo recorder as well under the edit, preferences, hardware, we have just checked it before. The speaker in Zoom is the speaker. If it were set to be the headphone, which is my black headset of Audio-Technica, I would be double hearing the deposition, one from the exhibit laptop and one from the reporter laptop. However, you notice that in Sonicleo, the speaker sound device is set to be the headphone on the individual reporter laptop, which is correct. Therefore, when replaying or reading back on the reporter laptop, I will be playing it on the reporter laptop, coming back to it later. So now on the reporter laptop, check the active window speakers, which is on the lower right corner on the taskbar. It should be set to the mixer as discussed earlier and to be muted. And this is very important, otherwise Sonicleo will not be recording sound. The only time you will change this setting is when you are playing back the record, not reading back. You are playing back the record. I will come back to it later. So now all audio devices are set on both laptops. Let's start the deposition. Going on the record. Mr. Fraser, let me get this clear. Are you saying that Ms. Wagner has covered the questions that you're going to be asked and instructed you on how she expects you to answer them? Well, um... Okay, and now this will be a readback. During playback or readback, a few things need to be changed. First decide which way the parties are requesting the record to be heard back. By playing the record back or by reading it back, meaning repeating the record back. When reading it back or repeating back, you will be the only one hearing the record played back or hearing it from the black Audio-Technica headset connected to the reporter laptop or whatever headset you may use. The parties in the Zoom deposition will not hear it. They will only hear your spoken words. Thus, first, after pausing the recording on Sonicleo win recorder window, go over to the transcriber window because you will be reading or repeating it back from the transcriber window. Select the portion for the readback and above the text field, you can make a few adjustments. Select the speed at which you and only you will hear the portion to be played back by Sonicleo. For example, at normal speed to be played back or at a slow speed to make sure you can clearly hear every word spoken on the record and you are able to repeat it back out loud via your microphone. Select the sound volume by the player level slider next to the speed selection to adjust the loudness for you to hear it back. And then simply press the play button on the transcriber window don't forget the parties on the deposition will not hear this play. They will only hear your spoken words that you repeat back from the recording you are just hearing. You could have considered yourself to be expert in the time of, of the employment. Objection leading. Let's look at this in different way, Mr. Fraser. Have you discussed this case with anyone? When you are ready to continue with the deposition, go back to the Sonic Leo recording window, 
not the transcriber window and simply press the recording red button. And we are going back on the record. When you are playing it back, you are playing back the recorded portion with the voice of the parties and you can stay on the sonically recorder window. Please note that you can also stay here if you are reading back at a stand-up playing speed without making adjustment mentioned earlier. And this will be a playback, so now we are going to have a playback. Okay, so during playback you will hear the played back portion of the deposition in your Black Audio Technica headset, or whatever headset you may use, and so do the parties in the deposition of a Zoom. By playing it back, you need to set the correct audio speaker, otherwise you will not hear anything, and they will not hear the playback too. So let's see what has to be changed. Now the Sonicleer input audio device is on the speaker mixer, and that has to be changed to the black headset connected to the reporter laptop herein and share the computer sound of a Zoom. Therefore, go to the taskbar on the bottom right section of your screen, select the Active Windows Speakers icon and change it from the muted mixer to the headset. Also, you need to provide computer sound of a Zoom to the parties. Therefore, in Zoom, go to Sharing, Advanced, Computer Sound and activate it. You will be sharing sound coming from your computer. And then go back to the Sonic Clear Recorder window and simply press the play button. Everybody will be able to hear a crystal clear portion of the recording played back in their voice. The level meter will be moving left and right, showing the amplitudes of the sound. You wish to remain in the green zone. I just told you about this case. Do you feel that you have to protect the company by the way you answer my questions? Objection. Mr. Spencer, I object to that whole line of questioning. I'd like to go off the record and have a conference with my client. I don't think so, Ms. Wagner. It looks to me like there's already been too much conversation between you and the witness. When you have completed the playback, you press either the stop or the pause button. At this time, in order to go back on the record, you must change the audio device of the speaker back to the muted mixer, because that is the input audio in Sonicleo. Thus again go to the taskbar on the bottom right of your screen, select the active window speakers and change it from the black headset to the mixer and mute it. Because the muted mixer is the Sonicleo speaker for recording the record, the input device. And you are ready to go back on the record. Now we will be going back on the record. As a matter of fact, I want to ask Mr. Fraser right now about your previous conversations. Mr. Fraser, just what has Ms. Wagner told you regarding this case? When the deposition is over, you will be going off the record and you simply press the stop button on Sonicleo. One piece of advice is to keep an eye on the mixer when changes occur on your computer. It is a critical device that has to be connected to Sonicleo and running. For example, when you lose connection to the deposition via Zoom, or you may have changed a few things on your computer. Usually it is connecting back and functions. You can notice whether it is working in the control panel that the level is moving when you are speaking. However, if it does not, it means that Sonicleo could not connect to it as well. In worst case, you may need to reboot your computer to have that device to be recognized by your computer's audio system. And that's all. In the next video, I will show how to connect an external microphone with a built-in mixer to Sonicleo and to have it input audio instead of using the mixer on the reporter laptop for input audio via Zoom over an exhibit laptop. And that external microphone with a built-in mixer is the Presonus Revelator USB condenser microphone. And have a successful workday. Thank you for your interest. Bye now.